Ha! No, don't do the hand washing pole. Oh, my chair is so squeaky. All right, no motion tracker. I did F up and not bring that. But it is the map I thought. Who do we want to play it? Well, the LMG. So we're going to be up on this hill or to the left. Remember height is, is it 2.5 up? I think this isn't high enough for high ground. I think high ground is only on the right. Even though, I think it, I think it just isn't high ground on this map for the LMG. Maybe. Okay. Wanna check out what's on my right? Solutions. Cool. Now, do I wanna check out what's on my left? Sure. That's affirmative. What's the worst that could happen? Flank secured. Already there. Gonna move up the LMG. The LMG, for those not super familiar, this is a variant of the um, normal machine gun that Long War introduces. It's got a little bit more ammo, I think. I think it's got eight ammo over, I believe the normal one has six. I don't know. Anyway, maybe seven. Doesn't really matter. The other thing is that you cannot shoot it after moving. It's kind of like a sniper rifle. You have to be sitting still to fire this thing. However, also kind of like a sniper rifle, it has a little bit of squad sight, not full squad sight, uh, but it can shoot five tiles beyond the soldier's vision range. Uh, if you get high ground, that number actually extends quite considerably. Good to go. Heading for that location. Rolling. If you have high ground on the enemy, that is. Roger. I've got my eyes on. It's a very good weapon. Very line. versatile in dealing high damage because it also has plus one damage over normal machine guns. Uh, and providing squad site suppression, which can be very effective at locking aliens down. Because they can't see it to shoot it back. Very important for some enemy types to keep them at bay. Ragnar Hexbane says, what's the worst that could happen? Early game sector pod cluster. Well, there you go, because that literally can't happen. Rolling. You've proved my point. Alien this is the worst that could happen, activating a drone. Two sectoids, and they've already got their plus one health pip. They've upgraded already. And one drone. We love drones here, folks. They're so fun. They're a great enemy. They're not at all annoying. Uh, you can see squad sight is like uh, more transparent than the other icons with the UI mod we have on. I might tweak that. Uh, I can take a 38 here on the drone. We just want to kill this effing thing real quick. Position confirmed. Before it gets too horribly close. Shot wide. Sigmar. And yes, I will be calling you Sigmar. What can we do? Do you want to smoke? I don't think we want to smoke. I actually got a lot of smokes, don't I? No, I only have one. I'm not going to smoke. I'm just going to shoot. Adjusting aim. I think the sectors will have a hard time... Punishing me too badly here, but I, there's always room for me to be wrong. I've been doing it all day so far. <sighs> do I do a suppression? May as well, it might just keep you in place. And you got tons of ammo. So there's not really many downsides there for trying that. I'm gonna bring the scout back. And I'm not going to go too crazy, otherwise. I'm not going to go on any crazy flanks. This is like turn two. The worst thing that could happen here really is the sectoids doing some nasty mind shit. Yeah, like this. On Mitchell. Mitchell, just resist it. Be cool. Damn you, Mitchell. However, the sector does expose himself, which is fine. Can't get banned for that. Oh, they haven't exposed himself. Fuck. Dang it. 
You can see that the suppression just like stops the drone from being useful at all at this range, which is cool. I think I will just like come and do this though this turn. So this is a bit of a ballsy move. I'm doing a big run to the left, which exposes you to being flanked like this. And now what I want to try to do is I want to try and hit the drone again with y'all. My steady is really useless here. Um, because there's no one to like steady off, so that was a really stupid steady. I guess I thought maybe the drone would come closer, but it didn't. Still up. I think it's probably better to now suppress the little gamer here. Who's gonna run. Hopefully before they get mine merged. And then I get even more damage on them. I might throw a smoke over here on the left to protect the scout meanwhile, though. It's that or do another overwatch. Um, I think I'll do a smoke. So it's gonna be three, five, seven, seven. Right there. Drones are early game? Yeah, yeah, drones are early game. We're gonna cover with our smoke onto the scout while we stay aggressive. Which I think was wise, because we're gonna take a couple of shots. At least one. No mind merge, which means this run could be good. 68% to hit. <laughs> no shot. No shots. Now the drone is free. The drone is free. Okay, that drone will be close enough to kill this turn at least. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Forty-fives here. Probably just sit still and take your forty-five. As long as someone can kill this drone first. You gonna get shot doing that? No, I don't think so. If you can't kill this guy, this drone, with these soldiers, then you have to use a shotgun. It's looking like that is gonna be the case. Unfortunately. So I'm gonna suppress you. Which is gonna let me move you here. Heading to that location. Bring the shotgun closer on the tree trunk. 81. Yeah! -ha. It's a bad day to be an XCOM soldier, apparently. Yastra and Slay. I mean, that is definitely what the drone is going to attempt to do here. Yes, they're, they're going to attempt to slay us. Headed there now. One damage. Oh, never mind. No damage. Woo, that is rough. Okay, well, drone's going to flank us. The classic long war drone experience. Yes, indeed. Yeah, don't, buddy. Don't. Yeah, thank you. The classic long war drone experience. Do nothing useful because they're stupid. As a brick. I love that. That's great. I love when drones are just dumb. Bonk. Folks, did that make you mad in chat? Were you like, oh, Beagle Rush always gets away with it? Oh, the stupid AI, he's the only reason he's good. Make sure to come along, not tomorrow, but the day after, for my stream where humans will be playing the XCOM 2 AI against me. <laughs> How's that for a plug? Hey, do you want to see that drone, like, literally teabag me? Come along to XCOM 2. A human commander will make it so. I'm on it, commander. I'm amazed I made that move without you seeing me. Okay, we're going to take a uh, 69% shotgun, which is nice. It's not nice. I hate it. Missed the target. I hate it now. Do you have a lineup for people who are going to play tomorrow? Nope, I haven't even asked anyone yet. I actually have no idea. It's not tomorrow, it's the day after tomorrow. But yeah, I have no idea. Rabbit says ask me. Maybe, yeah. 
It's gonna be through Parsec, so it's like literally like a five second download. Like it's actually so easy. I could get a new person in within like two minutes. I can literally do that, so that'll be fun. That's affirmative. Stig says I can't wait for the games where Beagle's a human opponent just run into the corner of the map never to be found. Ah, but you see, most of XCOM 2 has map objectives. So you can't. You just lose. I'm gonna flashbang you. I'm not gonna get any meld this mission, I don't think, but that's alright. Jacob says, very keen to see, to see the fi AI finally abuse explosives. Yes, on our couple of test runs we did last weekend, Sammy exploded one of my soldiers with a propane tank. It was very jarring. Yes, They're not meant to be able to do that. Not allowed. Moving up. Shock up over. Let's do this. I'm ready. I don't think you're gonna flash, uh, you're gonna flank me there with that flashbang, but I could be wrong. I'll look very stupid if I'm wrong. No, I'm good. He just looks as stupid as normal, it's fine. Really weird I can't see you there, that's an interesting spot you found. Hum hum. Where'd the other little vomit go? Probably somewhere I can't get flanked from. It's probably fine. Get him out of here. Heading out. Wait, are you in Overwatch? Oh god. Okay. I think we're fine. Roger. Moving to position. Goodbye, sweet meld. Hello, new pod. Three on the left. And the prodigal sectoid returns to taunt the dying meld. It's turn seven now, and I hate sectoids a little bit more every time. Yeah, he ate it. He ate that metal. That's true. Let's see what we can get away about out on the left, I think. I want to pull around and do some baits. Especially with the meld running out, we're in no rush. So we're just going to pull on back because we don't want to fight that guy in his full cover anyway. Like, fuck that. Fuck that guy. I hate him. Fuck him. Understood. Just pull right back. Hey, just just walk away. You can leave. You can just leave bad situations. You don't even have to like deal with them. Do I want to heal myself? Yeah, let me let me heal myself. Just walk out. You can leave. Hitchhiking says, not gonna lie, so they're trying to play tactically and that was the first thing that started working. Yeah, tactical withdrawals. Don't get suckered into every... to every bad situation you find yourself in. As long as you're not pinned by like a lot of really effective Overwatch or suppression, you can leave. It's really effective. Try it. You've got cover from me. I'm gonna... Clear up to here and have a look. Okay, not seeing too much fun there. Cross over to the left. The guy's in half cover. So we're just gonna get some shots on him, I think. On it. Moving. I'm gonna keep Jeff Runks like kinda wide on the right unless I get some good hits here. Oh, I blocked uh, Sigmar's shot. I'm so silly. 
Which is silly Billy. Okay, Shadow Ryu, come over. Unblock that shot. I think we're just gonna go ahead and overwatch then. Esfa says I demand my soldiers die meaninglessly if the alternative is retreating. Yes. I do agree. It is good to just throw your soldiers' lives away for nothing. Not even for a little pish posh of trench. Just really the thing you do. In this business of war. No, it works. I mean, you can, you can leave bad fights. You can abort from bad interceptions. You can even turn the game off. You can just leave the game. Lots of options. Got it covered. I'm on it, Commander. Let's take a shot here. 35. We have better cover than them. This so this engagement good. should favor me right now. There's a nice shot. I'm probably gonna suppress the mine merge one on the side. Don't like them. I want to get another shot with Mitchell here, please. I'm not allowed. I do not get that shot there. Uh, so instead, we'll take a shot on you and suppress you. Good shot. I don't know. I think with my merge, it just gets ignored, though. It's like buffered out. I'm going to have Jeff Runks come over. And we're going to start working up this left flank instead, I think. But we're in a pretty secure position here. Unless they, like, nail a nasty crit. Okay, well, the mind merge there, the double mind merge is going to make that possible. Mind merge increases crit chances. Not hit chances, but does enable uh, higher crit chances. Ah, I got hit for 5%. Ah, the natty 20. Ah, the panic. So this is what I'm talking about when I say we're in a pretty secure position unless. So now we're in a less secure position. However, we can make it work now with the shotgun. So Ryu's gonna mine for a panic. Good move over here, smart sectoid. Bad move over here, dumb sectoid. Let's watch. Ha <laughs> ha! There you go. So that gets rid of one of them. What we need, though, is a heal on the gunner now. Let's move up Mitchell. Can't reach that, but I'm just going to take a 35. Missed. That is not good. Come to the side. Next time I can heal you. Shoot. Just volume of fire here on 35%. Okay. Move up the SMG. I'll take a 35 of you too. Shoot your friend in the back of the head gaming. We're going to have to half cover because our gunner has 5 health and half cover. So we want to present other targets as well. That aren't my gunner. Which is working. But now if you get doubled on it's bad. Mitchell. Whee! There's one more sector. Watch out. It's a bloody battle, folks. It's a bloody XCOM. Cannot quite reach the grenade. The gun will be back online, though, this turn, which is good. I need to bring you around to heal. Sigmar. Uh huh. Say your sexy words, Sigma. And then we'll fall back again. Probably bring the scout over on this right side. I just realized that was the wrong move. I wanted to fall back from the other sectoid, and instead I went closer. That's my bad. Oopsie. I did a wrong. 
Going to steady weapon for my shot next turn. Mitchell's going to have to come back. I'm on it, Commander. And reload. Green to go. And we're going to put a suppression on you. Roger that. Just trying to play around. Be nice and loose and flexible. Nice and stretchy. Try not to lose any more soldiers on this mission. Let's make this the first mission we don't lose a soldier on. I haven't forgotten, have I? I haven't already lost one. Hope not. Okay, this is getting to be a problem. We are now not favored in the shooting war anymore because now we're 7 to 6 and we're a bit wounded already. However, that is going to help. Damn it. That would have helped. That would have, but now it won't. Ooh, now it won't. I can finish you off here, but the person with the smoke, I think, is panicking right now, which freaking sucks, man. And you probably won't survive that if you take that there. I can fall back. I think I'm just going to fall back. Okay. So they only have one shot on me here, you see? It's like the best I can do for this turn. Excellent work, Sigmar! That's exactly what we wanted there with that fallback. Good, perfect. So we've got to not just think about how it's hard for us right now, we've got to think about how it's hard for the sectoids. Empathy uh, is a really good trait to have in general in your life. Also a great weapon to kill sectoids with. By understanding how the sectoid thinks, we know that they haven't got much cover to push up to here and it's all half. Makes it harder for them to engage us. And if I go forward with the shotgun again, I may even be able to like spot some squad site LMG targets again. Not this time, that's alright. Well actually... It's a 38 all around. If you hit that one, you get a double. So that's a worthy, worthy shot, I think. Unfortunate. Target still up. These things, they happen. Keep overwatching. We gotta... What next? I think bring the SMG around to here. Is that outside your sight range? It should be. Yep, okay. I'm on it, Commander. Shotgun takes cover here. The SMG comes around to this position, and the SMG is going to try to finish off that three health sectoid. It's not likely, but it is possible. Need a resupply, Damn it. Overwatch again. They're probably not going to move forward, but I can't move you forward either, so you just got to overwatch and reload. It's not going amazing. This is going to become come down to a lot of luck, which is not what you want with your XCOM missions. You do not want to just be leaving it up to, like, shot luck. If the aliens get luckier than me here, I'm in a bad position. If I get luckier than the aliens, I'm in a good position. And there's, like, that critical mass of sector where there's too many mental powers, and I might not be able to pull through. It's very dangerous. I'm feeling very anxious at the moment. Very anxious. The panics are really going to ruin things. Very, very dangerous. This is probably all of the sectors on the map. It might be wise to start sending people to flank. Get a bit ballsier. Is anyone, uh, is anyone exposed here? No, no, no. Scout is stuck in the middle of a bunch of crap there. I'm going to move you twice. up to try and spot some more targets. As we kind of go back and forth, back and forth here. 
You're the mind merger. Again, can we hit the mind merger? You hit the mind merger, you really win this fight, honestly. You just completely flip this fight on its axis. But you're not hitting. Learning through ammo fast. But you are not hitting. Have you tried talking to the sectoids? Uh, I have not. That's fair. I have not tried talking to them. Yeah, this is not my fight. The shot lock is just like not going my way. I'm gonna reload there. You're gonna get mind frayed to death, so you gotta be careful. I think it's have to like... It's gonna be like one turn, two turns. That flank's gonna take so long, you're probably better off just like overwatching and doing like literally anything else. However, I need smoke. I kind of want to put it on the scout, but instead I'm going to go three, five, seven, seven. Stuck in here. Just stuck in a bad situation here. Too many sectoids. Not hitting those mine mergers. Getting mentally. Mentally chained, that's a really good resist. That's lucky. The shotgunner is vulnerable, which is awful. Luckily they're focusing on the, uh, the smoker right now. Another one. Let's keep that machine gun up at least. Good, these are great. When these fail, this is great. They're wasting their turns. We need to, like, advance and frag grenade them, I think. Hey, that Overwatch finally coming into play. Another great shot from Sigmar. No, Mitchell from Mitchell. Well done. Ah, 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 ah! Mitchell on one health now. Mitchell is just like one more mind fray away from being killed, so you really gotta like push and save Mitchell here, I think. Okay, so I can get grenades on. Okay, SMG can like move up and go for like a really close range attack. Yeah, we could go like really aggressive here. I think we have to. Because bodies are going to start dropping. Aye, aye, Commander. Let's go, Jeffronks. Let's do it. Kill confirmed. Trade some bodies. <laughs> Alright. That's a good turnaround. One last shot in the LMG. I want to push up with Sigmar and try to get an AP grenade here because this is a very dangerous situation and frankly I've had enough of it. Oh, I can't. No! I can't, can't get that grenade. I can get one on this guy, so I'm going to take it on, on, on this guy instead. Ah! Shit! No! I might overwatch. No, I gotta defend you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're probably not gonna get flanked, but I feel like I should overwatch just in case to like threaten them. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Good dodge. Hey, BGTV is working. I see it on the screen. Nictus, 47%. Please hit something. I'm begging you. I'm begging you to, to hit something just once. Not me! Net, net. Okay, they're going away from Mitchell, though, so that's all right. Beautiful 28%. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you want. That's a gorgeous 28% there. Fabulous shit. Big brain shit. 
Yeah, smoked him, indeed. And that probably allows us to back up here. So, uh, you know, I kind of feel like now, like, oh, yeah, I'm beating him. Push in. But there's still four sectors unaccounted for. There's no rush. Mel's already dead. And now my panic people can pull back. So this advice, uh, you know, like, the good thing for me to now is to, like, fall back more. Position confirmed. Like, it's chill, you know? Now we can just fall back more. Ready to engage. We had to defend them, but now they are defended. Like, you can come back to... Actually, you could... We want to go, gang. Fam. You come over to here. Running. Where you will be line of sighted. Yeah, the push can get you to read it. Absolutely, that too, for sure. Um, you're going to get mine banged more, so we're going to like get you out of the way as well, I think. Roger that. Want to be careful, want to be careful. Oh, wait, should I forget about you, though? No, you're not panicked. Wait, what the hell? You're meant to be panicked. You were panicked. But... I think the Overwatch kill re saved you? Yeah, he got better. Nice. That is so dope. We can do a full loss break, which is ideal. We can do a full line of sight break here. Which rocks. At least I think we can. Time to motor. Yes, I think we can. I'm ready. We should enforce them to push up again. Yeah, I think it's because the sectoid died, yeah. Roger that. Hello, hello. No shot, just out of range of the squad site, unfortunately. That's okay. We're not impatient. We're just gonna shift positions and keep working it out. SMG's gonna come over on the left and reload. Reload. You come back down. Mitchell, get like right at the back of the pack. Yes, so it's just one Dorito, that's right. Just run. one outsider early in the campaign. Let's do this. What the hell was that? A little my imagine going out there. I'm pretty sure there's four sectoids. Unless I like counted it incredibly wrong. We only see two though, so that's kinda like making me doubt myself. Never let the aliens make you doubt yourself. Don't get gaslit by sectoids. Ah, oh, shit, you can see me. Ah! The unexpected re-hit. Ah! Scary. XCOM scared. But, XCOM Counter-Strike. Ha-ha! Baited! No! Why did bad things keep happening to me? Let's go, Shadow Rider. Ah! Bro, come on, I'm begging you. Why can you not see from there? Surely you can see from there. Surely. No, you can't. That's such a weird lost spot. Suppression. Aye, aye. Aye. Ingrid says, I don't understand why Beagle chooses to have bad luck. Um, Basically, I like to get it all out of the way on XCOM so then I can have better time when I play Blood Bowl once a year. Either reverse bait. This is some huge level gameplay here, absolutely. You can see the sectors my imagine each other in the fog. I knew there was more than two. One percent. Just sitting there. Just sitting there and taking a one percent. Who is the sectoid? Are they in chat? Are you? Are you in chat, sectoid? Can you speak up? Who are you? Dead now. Ban him. Everything got it. 
<laughs> Slushies. Uh, Rabbit Free says, I had to brush my teeth, are we winning? We we're kind of winning, but in another sense, we're like fighting for our fucking life, struggling, you know, to the teeth against like baby sectoids in March. So morally, we're not winning. Tactically, we are in front at this point, I think. But like on a humiliation scale, no. No, the sectoids are making us look really bad. That's right, Ferric, uh, Ferric, Pirate, Ferric Victory, Ferric Victory. Rolling. I know good words. I want the move. I'm on the watch. Move to Overwatch. Overwatch. I got it. I got it. <laughs> That. Oh, rabbit food. <laughs> I don't think we're alone out here. <laughs> yeah, thank you for keeping tabs on my health, rabbit food. That's very nice of you. Heading to that location. I think the sectoids, of which I know now there are three, I'm sure of it. I believe in myself again. And I think the sectoids have all got scared toyed. They're all hiding in the outsider now, perhaps. Do I have like some medkits I can pass around so I can like be less dead? I'm gonna put a medkit on the scout. That's what I'm gonna medkit. Moving to Overwatch. Yes, ma'am. Here we go. Oh damn, that spot is so good. It's just inside my Overwatch range. But it's not good enough to not get suppressed on. Let's suppress you. Aye, aye. Suppress Don't aye, scream at me. Aye. Who am I gonna shoot you with though? I guess I could like start working on like a fl Not really. Just come to here and like shoot aye, the aye, SMG. Aye, aye. <laughs> Adjusting sights. Can I get another shotty? Nope, let's bring the scout over here. Gonna bring up an overwatch with Ryo on the left. The terrain is not favorable for concealed flanking. The soldiers are battered, beaten, and all down to half health on half of the squad. We don't have many special weapons. It is just a, uh, a pretty unimaginative trench war right now, to be honest. It's not very imaginative at all. Hey, don't call it longer for no reason. There you go. I need to bring more shots up if I'm going to get through this sectoid's health. <laughs> Please. Please, I beg you. Oh, it's just gonna get eaten by the mind merge. Let's rock. On Overwatch. Hold on, there's still another sectoid missing. We know this guy's just hanging out doing nothing useful. There's the other one I didn't want to see. Oh god! Sigmar! Oh. But I think I have you flanked now, dumb idiot. Ha 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 ha! Oh my god! Done with this shit. We are done with this shit. God damn! Please, I beg you, please! Oh, it's been a day of it. Please, I am, I am begging. 
I am begging for a smidge of accuracy. Oh, just a smidge more. The pistol. The 49%. Jeff Ronks. Ah, I'm crying. You're laughing. Beagle is literally crying and you're laughing. The pistol again. The 38%. Come on. Oh. Uh. <laughs> so many 35s. So many misses. Please, please don't kill my sweet baby XCOM soldiers. Uh oh, right at ammo. Well, luckily they didn't overwatch, so I guess we like go back again now. I'm gonna make him leave that cute little spot. Heading to that location. You think you're cute, Sector? You think you're slick? Think again. Yeah, Think wrong, I'm gonna get ya. That's affirmative. Solid copy. Yeah, we're done mission. This mission is insane so far. It's killing time. This mission is horrifying. We're green to go. It's like watching a guy just like slamming his keyboard, playing out of his mind, 10,000 APM, and he's playing against like a literal five-year-old child. That's what's happening right now. Oh, and the child wins again! Stop letting the child win! He can't keep getting away with it! Keep falling back. Keep, keep baiting. Bait harder! It's not working, bait harder! Ah, shit. I didn't want to be seen yet. Shh. All right. We're very chill here. I'm gonna bring the scout over and get healed. I'm all over it. Finally gonna get that heal I wanted onto my scout. Good as new. I'm gonna give it up for turn 27. A very pretty lady walks across the screen holding up a, a number placard. Solid Jeff Funk is gonna push up again. We're, we're resetting our yeah. bait positions. Will they come? Or will they run? They they come, they come again. He's fucking on full health again from the mind merging. A great four damage. Yes, yes, this is good, good. Falling back. I'm out of med kit, so please don't shoot me again. I think I've got you now. Yes. This is the end of Sectoid. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he can't keep getting away with it! <laughs> I can't get closer! I, I can't make it end! A sectoid running in and out of loss forever! There's two more of them after this. There's two more sectoids. What should I have brought the deal of this? Infantry. Rocketeer. The sector is like geniusly mind merge swapping to heal up the sectoids, which is just insane play.
And if I push them too hard, I run into the outsider. So you gotta be like, damn careful here. There's no good full cover to really dart to. I suppose I could like try to get the shotgun up to here again. Or probably go around the right. That's probably what we're gonna do. Let's go around the right, man. Is there some kind of lucky charm you could have brought like a rabbit's foot? There actually is. No need to ask There's an alien trophy, which is exactly that. Uh, we're just gonna set Overwatch bait yeah. back here while we send the flankers on the right. It's a hard map to flank on, but someone's gonna do it. Yeah, kill him. Running all the overwatches, going for the half cover. You can applaud now if you want for this sector, if you feel like it. I won't stop you. If you really feel like handing it to him. Yeah, you can give, give him a little go toy if you like. I'm gonna fucking get ya! I'm tired of getting overwritten by the mind merge, so what I'm gonna do is suppress and set up two steady aims. Let's see if we can't get you through you like this. It's gonna be 255s. Finally! The world's most beloved sectoid is dead. Shocking news now here on BBC One. It's the 9th of September 2022 and the most influential person in British politics has died. Yes, the trench running sectoid is no more. More updates on this story as it develops. That's affirmative. The nation weeps. Heading there now. Leaving behind a loving family of fucking mind merge sectoid and mysterious sectoid I haven't even seen once yet. Back online. Can't get some. Locked and loaded. <laughs> can't hold percent. Can't hold a low pay <laughs> in chat. Going now to man on the street interviews. With Cardotto Lope. He was my MP representing Puckle Church. Love sausage rolls. Love trench sectoid, simple as. Head into that location. You in full cover? No, I'm gonna suppress you. Let's suppress you up! Bring in the And play the same tactic, I think. Coming up, steady and aim. Well, folks, it's uh, three hours into the stream on our third mission. The levels are pretty quick, but if you've never seen a long war mission before and this is your first, well, prepare to be disappointed. It's not the most dynamic. But finally, if you just tuned in right now, now it's starting to look good. Look, he's got flanking going. Tactics are happening. Okay, now we're getting somewhere, right? Right, hopefully. At least no one's died on this mission. That's true. At least no one has died on this mission. That's true. Um, Someone is probably going to die to the outsider. I just realized I don't have my flashbang anymore. And all the doors are open. Someone is probably going to die to the outsider. Maybe even this turn. Exciting. What fun. I cannot get a flank here on my little friend, Sectoid, because the meld canister is in the way. Unfortunate. I can get a flank from over here. Yes. Let's see if we're going to activate an outsider today. If Ooh, there's... Ooh, 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 the back one, the back one! 
Head, head, it's the head. Ooh, 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 let's go. This isn't bait. This isn't bait. It's not bait. Yes, it's not bait. Oh, it's actually not bait. Yes! No longer a threat. The sectoid royal family is falling like flies now. Easy clap. Yes! It's happening now. This will hit. Yes! <laughs> They're dead. They're all dead. Johnny Jenky says, Hey, Beach, glad to find out that you are, in fact, not dead. Yes, I am not dead, but the sectoids are. Thank goodness. It's all over now, but for the outsider, I believe, folks. A long and protracted trench war of the sectoids there. It took like 30 minutes, at least. It was like a 20 turn fight with sectoids there. That's, uh, I mean, hey. That's real content for you guys, because you're probably not going to see a sectoid fight go that long ever again. That's a real, uh, historical moment. You were here. The question is now how to handle the outsider. I think I'm going to bring the LMG around to the right. Running. Seeing as we've already made some encroachment on the UFO there, and it seems fine. It seems Rolling good. It's the only mission so f where no one has died so far yet. We've had not great accuracy Let's or mission. We've expended all of our med kits. Double time. You know, we, we, we've, we've put a lot of work in. And it might finally be coming good here. As long as we can just finish off this outsider without McFucking dying. That's really the key now. That? Indeed. Outside of here or here, I would guess. I want to sneaky, sneaky my assault troops closer. Have the LMG ready to suppress. Uh, Snakey just says the entire ground has been fertilized while shell casing some blood. Oh yeah. Running. We spent way too much ammo on that fight. That was just economically not a fight that was worth taking. We'll have to spend too much on assault rifle magazines again after this. More M855A1. We're green to go. Locked and loaded. Okay. That's affirmative. Keep going around the right. That should be safe move. That is not a safe move. Headed there now. Don't want to accidentally activate King Outsider yet, of course. But it doesn't look like we're going to do that here. Looks like we're just fine. Just fine, just fine. That's affirmative. Want to bring our AP grenades closer. Just want to, like, butt rush this Outsider. That's the way you kill Outsiders. You don't want to fight them at range. Outsiders fought at range are a very bad time. You want to sneak in with your assault team and... Flank and kill him close on turn one. On overwatch. Locked and loaded. There's something out there. I'm trying to guess exactly where that outsider is. And I would want to say from the way that sector was close, I think that sector was probably trying to hang out near them. I do feel like they're probably right here. That would be my guess. That's affirmative. To withstand an impact like that, at such a velocity, the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. Sneaking up along the right here, we can get some good SWAT-style breaching. Target confirmed. On our way. If the outsider is close, this works better for us. If they are on the far side, this could get ugly. Location confirmed. Moving to Overwatch. I'm on. Heading to that location. You over here, you over here. Be gone. Be gone. That's totally what he said. 
Yeah, Intech Power Supply, good call chat. Yeah, we've also got an Intech Power Supply there, which is really good. I'm not really thinking of strategic things right now. I'm just thinking like, man, I sure don't want to die to an outsider, so sorry. Didn't even notice that to call that out. Basically just thinking like, it would be so awesome and cool if I did not die to this outsider. You hear that? I have a horrible feeling they'll never serve the UFO. I don't like it. Position confirmed. Yes, Commander. All right, here we go. It's the breach turn. What the hell was that? The turn where we go into the breach. That's a being of almost pure Okay. That is not where we wanted to go. So we're breaking line of sight again, obviously. We're not fucking with that. That is not something you fuck with. You do not fuck with an outsider in that position. We had to count it out. So they're going to probably get to here when I get to engage them again. That's going to be one, two, three, four... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, so from back here should be a fine LMG position to bait a tasty succulent trap here. Aye, aye, Commander. We're going to use this one turn before they've that looks like the primary power got Overwatch going to get some flanking power here. The amount of power it would have to be generating to propel that ship. I'd watch your fire down there. That equipment could be highly unstable. If I move here, they technically could flank around me really hard. Like, they could technically, like, go through here and it might be a problem. So maybe just go to here, don't go too crazy. Can I hide everyone if I do that? Uh, yes. Yes, I can. So that's fine. That's so you come thing. here. And then we're gonna hide everybody else. I've got my eyes on. Affirmative. Covering now. Heading to that location. Hello? Going in the middle. Count it again. One. This has to be an accurate count. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twenty, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay. If I go to here and hunker. Yes, Commander. This outsider should still not be able to see me, and I'll have squads out on them next turn. You must hide again. Moving out. Nades up, not just yet, but soon. Holding another turn here. Letting the outsider jockey around, maybe even charge us if we're lucky. What was that? No charging, okay. Jeff Ronks peeking again, scouting. Okay, so this is exactly what I was thinking about, right? So you can see here the outsider is flanking me. Going for the scout. That's not really what we want outsider to be focusing on right now. We want outsider to be coming closer to the rest of us. Ah, uh, this is a little awkward. But I think if I move to here, you won't be able to shoot me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think you'll be safe if you come to here. Though, maybe if you like diagonally cross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can probably like hit me from there. Uh, I mean, I, I have to make that move anyway, though. Mm. That could be better, couldn't it? You won't have line of sight, so you won't know, like, the perfect turn to get me on. So you probably don't do that. It's probably fine. Will do. I'm gonna hunker with you there instead, anyway. I 
I think I'm gonna bring you up and hunker you too, because I need to make sure you can help next turn. But yeah, it's really awkward playing like outsider tag when you don't get that initial good breach on them you want. Now they don't know where I am right now. What the hell was that? Double move. Perfect. Okay, that I can make that work. Yes, perfect. Okay. So they're just outside of sight range, right? Just outside of sight range, but the suppressor can get him now. Roger that. Because that LMG's got this, uh, the squad sight suppression. Pinning the outsider in place, and I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, outsiders are notoriously skittish of running Overwatch. They hate to do it, they won't do it. That allows me now to flank around. Unfortunately, I can't actually flank around right where I want to be. Uh, yes, I can. I just gotta. I just gotta trust that the outsider won't run the suppression, which I'm pretty much certain they won't. If not, Pig General's dead. But you know what? That's fine. Can go behind with you. Location confirmed. Just guaranteeing them to be fixed in place for a second. Bring a grenade closer on the right. Position confirmed. Okay, no worries. The outsider should not run that. They know what's good for him. You hear that? It's turn 45. What a powerful turn. Claps in chat. What a powerful turn. Suppress so again. Come on. Right in the head. And now let's kill this fucker. This is gonna be a powerful turn, everyone. We're gonna get this little fucker. I'm gonna go hard. Head into that location. Shotgun, 99%. Just <laughs> <laughs> do a 10 crit, why don't you? No operatives lost. It was looking pretty close there. It was hairy. But Driving Justice is our first mission with no XCOM operatives lost. Love it. An interesting little mission there. Had to work pretty hard on that one with the squad we had. Hey, um, apparently only one of you got taken down that low too. I guess nobody else got hit below their armor. Oh, what was I crying about? I was crying over nothing. Everybody's fine. Everybody got promoted? What a fantastic mission. Only one person got gravely wounded. Really? Once you get back to this screen, I'm a genius. That's like an A mission rating. It didn't feel like an A when I was playing it, I'll tell you that much. Two more tacticals, which is great. We love promoting infantry. Our scouts even got promoted. Yeah, everyone took mental damage, yeah. Our scout got promoted, which is cool. Very awesome. Good mission. Uh, we've got a flight computer to the cell, but we even got an intact flight computer and a power source. Cool, cool. Bunch of Valyrian. This is a special tool that will help us later. How's my interceptors looking? Uh, they have looked better. They have looked far, far better. Let's get avalanches back on you. That is, uh, oof, that is not good. If we don't address the lack of available scientists in the lab soon, we run the risk of falling behind on our research. Okay. Hmm. Okay, okay. You just gotta carry on then. Good show, carry on. Intel reports heavy UFO activity in the United States. Well, don't come here yet, because I'm not ready. Contact ah! Contact detected. I'm not ready for this. 
I am not ready for this. Oh! Yes, I am. Oh, you can send up damage inties with this mod. And I was just thinking I'd, I'd immediately was seeing the problem of how this was going to be too hard because by requiring two, two, by doubling the UFO health and requiring two interceptors per interception, the problem was you were going to be having double the repair cost, which means you were going to have, you were going to need double the interceptors to cover a continent because you'd be, they would all be out repairing all the time. But if we can send in lightly, not heavily you can see, but if we can send in lightly damaged interceptors, how lightly? I mean, you can't see, but... Okay, well, we're gonna have to send in Sixpack Lenore, who's only got some paint dings left on his jet by the look of it. Their jet, and Pagan as well. Alright, start the music! Aggressive or balanced? What do you think? I think, again, you just gotta go in aggressive to try and get those hits that you need. Go just take it out. Let's go. Now I can push them in and out and abort them individually here, so I gotta be on my toes. It's like a quick time game. Aim is trash on damaged fighters. Oh, I didn't know that. Hit some missiles. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Better. Took some hits there. That's what happens when your missiles actually hit. Hey, Lieutenant Gunner. Promotion. Good for you. And we got another mission. If I go to um, here, you just got promoted to lieutenant. Does that give you anything special yet, by the way? Uh, sorry, not the aircraft list. Let's go to the pilot roster. And let's see Pagan. So we can now see that... What have you got? You got plus 4 damage, plus 10... Uh, plus 4 aim, plus 10% damage. Nice, cute, good for you. Now, if you were a leader who promoted, we would be able to take three jets up at once, but we don't really have the jets to do that right now. Oh, and we've got a satellite here, so we can see that it is truck stop UFO. That's nice. So you're always going to get to see the UFO mission uh, map, because if you're doing an interception to even see the UFO to do the interception in the first place, you should have a satellite up. So most of the time, all of your UFO maps, you should be getting to see what UFO map you're going on, which is pretty cool. So we know we're going on truck stop now, which means a sniper is very cool. A sniper and an LMG would be great buddies on this map. So I might bring a sniper with me. Oh, but door kicker has to be made a scout. It is, it is like literally written in the stars. I could bring a couple of LMGs instead. This is good for rat coin. I love informed gambling. Yeah, there you go. Door kicker just has to be a, a scout with that name. I'm sorry. I did not make that rule. Uh, we'll take another gunner with Sammy. Maybe I should make a Rocketeer out of Sammy. I do I do want to, like, dabble with Rocketeers this time around, I think. I want to give it a little dabble. Like, I just feel like it'd be fun. Double gunner is so fucking good, though. Ugh. Double gunner is so good. But I was thinking... I was thinking I did double gunner last time, right? And I know I ended up running like double LMGs a lot, but back when I was running like one LMG and one saw, I was thinking that a Rocketeer could do a similar kind of job. A Rocketeer could do like, um, they can get the same tanking perks that a gunner can. Uh, I don't think they get the same health level ups is the thing, but, but then you, you lose the flush too. It's just, I just found the best builds last time, and if I go to, like, uh, Long War Perks, and I look at the Rocketeer Perk Tree, I, I feel like I just found the best, the best way to play last time. I feel like we know what classes are good, and we're going to play them again. Because I want to play with, like, a Rocketeer, I do. 
We can always try them later. Remember, we've got respects and soldiers later. We can always try them later. We don't have to do them now to have rocketeers later. It'll, it'll be fine. Because, yeah, our rocketeer does not get flush either. Fuck it. You know what? I'm going to keep it simple. I know what's good. I know what works. By the way, exclamation mark raffle in the chat, guys. Get your raffles in if you want to be on the next mission. Let's do a double gunner. Have I got two gunners to take? I've got Mary Jane Shadow I got Sammy. Let's do it. Let's do double gunner. Because I almost lost that last mission and I don't want that to happen ever again. That traumatized me. I never want that to happen again. Sorry guys, mission three, that was the last hard mission of the campaign. We're not gonna have any more hard ones. That's it, actually. Suppression. Oh, I missed you, LMGs. I did miss you. Where'd your cool weed color go? Come on. Let's get it. There we go. Cybercola says, I actually only watch to see easy missions. Garbanzo Grande said, Raffle. Do you know Ariana? Guilt takes rockets. I could use this poor Sammy. I was thinking about making Sammy into a rocketeer, but I don't want to do it. I've decided. I don't want to do it. Lovely big guns. So that's going to be a medkit and a ceramic on both, right? I think I took ceramics on the last time for tanking. I think it was good. Yes, he's going with the double LMG straight up. He thinks he's cool enough to do a double LMG straight up. Exclamation mark raffle. Let's see who this is. This is... Bamboo Cutter... Weren't you a gunner in the shootcom campaign too? We have 370 entrants right now. And I'm pretty sure I just pulled someone who was in the last campaign. Bamboo was a gunner in the last campaign. I'm sure. Yeah, like one of the OG gunners. Yeah, one of the anchors of shootcom, I remember. Well, they're back. I'm pretty sure didn't Bamboo have this, uh, this helmet too? I'm almost certain this is what Bamboo looked like. The Soylent look. I'm, I'm pretty certain this was Bamboo with heat, I think. You're not a gunner this time, though, so I shouldn't give you that armor. I'll just give you instead, um... Like that. There you go. Don't, don't want to confuse myself out there on the battlefield. Now we can see those make kits are very important to bring along. Yeah, we don't know yet what uh, Bamboo will be again. Congrats, Bamboo. Welcome back. Did I... yeah. Oh yeah, you're not the SMG now, you're, you're an actual scout. We're not gonna bring an SMG on this one, I don't think. I will bring a flashy. Cryon says, I've never been chosen for a soldier, and you know what that means. Zero deaths, baby. Never led, never dead. You miss 100% of the bullets you're not on the mission for. Oh, yeah. Infinite KD. Someone bring me my smokes. I like my smokes. Of all the bamboo praise, he's totally gonna die in this mission. That that would be comically tragic, yes. AP, AP, medkit, 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 smoke, smoke, flashbangs, and ceramics. I think we're ready to go. No, of course we're not. We've got too many people to raffle. What's he talking about? Raffle someone new, Beagle. Well, let's go draw entrant. Uh, Will WKM, may I let you all know that Will WKM has an XCOM picture as uh, his Twitch picture. Uh, for his profile, so you know he's ready. Will WKM? Will WKM is so XCOM, I'm gonna put him in the in the classic rookie helmet as well. Will says I've never joined this stream before, that's wild, thanks. How'd you get here today, Will? 
was it the YouTube announcement or did you just bumble along? There we go, the classic look. My pick is XCOM because I just started streaming XCOM two weeks ago. Well, shit, there you go. There you go. They, you joined the Ghost Wizards raid? Oh, thank you to Ghost Wizards for the 20-person raid, by the way, and the 13-month sub. Thank you very much. There you go. That's called cross-promotion, Will. That's cross-promotion, baby. Last one. And it is, oh, it's just Delta. Who doesn't have an XCOM picture as theirs, but they have a badge. They have the Rebel Alliance badge as theirs. Oh, it's just Delta. I spelled that right? Yes, I did. And considering you have a Star Wars badge, I'm going to give you that Star Wars ass helmet. It's kind of. It's more ODST, but it can kind of work. That, that's honestly like the more Star Wars helmet, really. But you don't get that one. That one's too cool. You get like this motorcycle helmet looking thing. That piece of gold says, is it too much to change my PF to you? Bigs and Jam, what do you mean? Oh, <laughs> you're gonna change your profile picture to... Wait, what? What do you mean? That piece of gold. Change your profile picture to me? Your PF? What do you mean? Don't wear my face like a skin. Okay, scout. Three rookies, two machine guns. Let's have a good time out there. Oh, it's just Delta. Will Cam. Da, 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 da. Yeah, let's go. Wait! <gasps> I remember this time. The motion tracker chat. The motion tracker. I remembered this time. There it is. Only one of them, but still, we'll just take the one. Strike one. Prepare for landing. Let's go. Operation Final Stranger. Is sending an urgent mission request. It looks like the UFO went down in a densely populated area within the city limits. Let's just hope everyone on the ground stayed clear. Last mission of the day? Maybe, maybe. I started a bit late. So it might be the last one of the day. Let's get into it. 